So today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be part review, part how-to, because it's no fun reviewing something if you're not actually making something. And so I'm reviewing the Chocola brand of chalk markers. I have an Amazon link to the markers in the info box below, as well as a 20% off coupon. So the markers come in two tip sizes. The 6mm has... it's a rounded tip, so it's kind of like, you know, your typical pen or marker. And so that's good for doing your detail drawing or writing, anything like that. The 15mm has a nice flat tip, so that's good for calligraphy, if you're into calligraphy. I'm really into calligraphy, so that's good for making calligraphy designs or if you have to fill in large areas with color. So the smaller markers have about a 40 second dry time and the bigger ones have about a minute, minute and a half dry time. Once they're dry, the nice thing about them is that you can rub your hands across them and you don't rub anything off. And then once your bottom color has dried, you can take another color and you can go right over it. No matter how light it is, the top color will always be on top. And then again, once it's dry, the marker stays put against any rubbing until, of course, you're ready to clean off the board. Which you can do with just a simple wet rag. And it comes off pretty clean. And they can also double as dry erase markers on a whiteboard. So they're perfect for writing out to-do lists. And the thing that separates them from dry erase markers is that they stay put when you rub your hands across them, which is really great for me because uh, my cat likes to tromp all over my to-do list whenever I forget and leave it laying somewhere for it. And his paws tend to erase everything. And on a whiteboard, I've actually found that you can just use a dry rag to erase it. You have to press down a little harder, but it does come right off, actually, without even using any water. Or if you want to speed up the process, just grab your wet rag. And it just melts off the whiteboard. So chalk markers are also dust free, which is great if you're a teacher and you don't want to stand over a dusty blackboard all day. And they're also odor free. They say low odor, but this particular brand is like totally odor free. You don't smell anything. And they're also a lot less messy than traditional chalk because naturally you get to hold on to the marker part and the ink just stays on the tip rather than regular chalk, which gets all over your hands and usually flakes off on your clothes besides. So the first time you use the markers, you'll have to prep them. And you do that by first shaking it up really good. You'll see that on a new marker, the tips are clean. There's no ink on them at all. So in order to get the ink flowing the first time, you just want to push up and down on the tip a couple of times. And that's going to start getting the ink flowing. And then just hold the tip down and wiggle the marker back and forth. And that'll bring all the ink inside the marker down into the tip. You can see it's starting to come now. It takes somewhere around 30 to 60 seconds to get the ink to come out the first time. But once you've had them prepped the first time, you want to do this every time, the ink will just be ready to draw with. And so there it is. And if your ink lines start to run dry, you just give it another squish, up and down, and that'll put more ink into your tip. So once you've prepped your marker tips, you want to make sure that you store them upright, or at least horizontally, maybe slightly raised, so that your ink doesn't leak out of the tips of your markers when you're storing them. And so now onto the fun part, actually making something. Markers can be used on glass as easily as whiteboards and chalkboards, which makes them ideal for holiday decorating, because you can do all your glasses depending on whatever season it is, you know, for graduations or birthdays. It's very convenient if you want to keep track of your glass at a party to put your name on it so you know exactly who it belongs to. And since they can be used on glass, you can also use these to decorate your windows. Your kids will love it if they get to draw on the windows with markers. And of course, once it's dry, it stays put until you decide to rub it off. You can make cute little signs for a farm market or a bistro. So to calligraphy with the markers, you hold the marker at a 45 degree angle and then you keep it at that angle as you draw out your words. You don't turn it at all and that will give you that calligraphy with the different thicknesses. As I said, the 15 millimeter markers are good for that because they have the flat top on them. So 
and you can just decorate the outside to make coasters. And because the top color always stays on top, you can also do shadow printing. You just wait for the bottom color to dry, and then you take a second marker, and you start in just a little bit from where you were drawing before, and you trace the exact same letters, just making sure that you're in a little bit. Just like that. So probably the one con would be that if you have one of the non-shiny chalkboards, like what I'm using here, when you go to wipe it off, if you've left it on for a week or so, you can still see a shadow of what you've drawn. It doesn't seem to have that problem if you get one of the shiny chalkboards, because I think they're, I don't know, they've treated the surface with something to make it easier to come off of, and I also didn't have a problem with my whiteboard. But again, if you have one of those non-shiny chalkboards, and you leave something on there for a week, you have to scrub really hard or use a magic eraser to get it off. So, hands down, my absolute favorite thing to do with chalk markers is labeling. Chocolate sells these little vinyl chalkboard labels. You get 80 of them in a pack, and there's a few that, you know, there's like little hats and some mustaches and some dog bones. And then there's some more, like, more traditional shape labels. And basically, what they are is they're vinyl stickers. And they'll stick to pretty much anything, and they're also great because they come off later on if you want to, so they're reusable. And since they're non-porous, can write anything on them with the chalk markers. And then once it's dry, it's totally permanent until you decide to take it off with just a little bit of water. And since they're vinyl labels, they're totally waterproof. It washes right off and write whatever you want your new label to be. So I'd never heard of these before this, but I am so in love with them now because I do a lot of labeling and these are not only functional, they are totally cute and much cuter than a piece of masking tape with permanent marker written on it, which you have to replace every time you want to change the label anyway. So these are cute, convenient, and totally functional. So I'm a farmer, so I do a lot of seed saving. So these are the way I normally label my things in mason jars. Not exactly cute, but functional. And of course every year you have to rip off the label and put on a new one. And there's usually some leftover scotch tape that's never coming off. So we're going to do this the more convenient way. Okay, that just looks cuter already. So there we go. Cute and functional. It doesn't get better than that. So then of course at the end of the year I can just wash that off and write on the next year's label. And then just replace them with the chalk labels. Much cuter, cute. These also work great as kitchen labels. And they also make great reusable gift tags if you just take a piece of cardstock, put one of the labels in the center, and then you can just punch a hole on either end and tie it onto a package, and then you'll be able to write whoever's name you want there and use the tag over and over again.